Jonah's Brothers biography. Within a year, the Jonah's Brothers have successfully elevated their status to that of respected musicians. Their self-titled sophomore album debuted at Hash 5 on the Billboard Hot 200 chart, after their first It's About Time, 2006, barely reached Hash 91. The album sold 69,000 copies in its first week, outselling the soundtrack of Hairspray by a factor of hundreds. According to a review in USA Today, they've got fizzy harmonies, punchy power chords, and sugary choruses that bounce off the walls. Within a year, the Jonas Brothers have successfully elevated their status to that of respected musicians. Their self-titled sophomore album debuted at Hash 5 on the Billboard Hot 200 chart after their first It's About Time, 2006, barely reached Hash 91. The album sold 69,000 copies in its first week, outselling the soundtrack of Hairspray by a factor of hundreds. According to a review in USA Today, unlike Hanson and other teen bands, the Jonas Brothers did not begin as a band but as a single act. It all began with a single initiative by Nicholas Jerry Jonas, the youngest brother, who was born on September 16, 1992. Columbia Records immediately recognized his potential, as well as that of his two elder brothers, Joseph Adam Jonas, born August 15, 1989, and Paul Kevin Jonas Brown II, born November 5, 1987. The three of them began performing as Sons of Jonas before settling on the more mainstream moniker of Jonas Brothers. During this time, their father would book them gigs and provide funding to help them achieve their goals. On August 8, 2006, their debut Columbia album, It's About Time, was released and the first song, Mandy, became a minor hit. The music video for Mandy was ranked hash 4 on MTV TRL, which is a great start for a young newcomer. Meanwhile, Mandy and another track, Year 3000, were so warmly welcomed on Disney's radio that they both topped the list, along with other off-album singles like Kids of the Future and Poor Unfortunate Souls. Despite all of this, the debut album did not achieve widespread popularity, peaking at hash 91 on the Billboard Albums chart. The brothers were quickly kicked out of Columbia. All the band needed at the time was a new label, a new musical style, and determination. They were signed to Hollywood Records shortly after being label-less and promptly began production on their second album. When we signed with Hollywood, we told them, hey, we have some demos of songs we've been writing for the previous year and a half, Kevin recalls. We felt it would be hilarious to record those songs for the album just to see what we could get away with. But those were the tracks that ended up on the album. The album, Jonas Brothers, was released on August 7, 2007. Following the success of two songs, the first single, Hold On, reached 70, and the second, Sauce, debuted at 65. The New Jersey-based band, like other teen heartthrobs, made sporadic TV appearances. In 2007, the three filmed the pilot for a new fictional television series called J-O-N-A-S, in which they play a bunch of government-hired spies. It is slated to premiere on Disney Channel in 2008. Following their Look Me in the Eyes tour in 2008, the Jonas Brothers made their Disney Channel acting debut in an episode of Hannah Montana and acted opposite Demi Lovato in Camp Rock. The brothers had a busy year that year. They also began their Burnin' Up tour to promote their third studio album a little bit longer. The album was released in August of that year, and it debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. The Jonas Brothers were nominated for Best New Artist at the 51st Grammy Awards, but Adele won the award instead. In February 2009, the band made their Saturday Night Leg debut, appearing as musical guests just days after the event. They announced the following month that they would be embarking on a Globe tour in mid-2009 with Korean group Wonder Girls as the opening act. Lines, Vines, and Trying Times, their fourth studio album, was released on June 12, 2009. Despite poor reviews, the album debuted at the top of the Billboard 200 chart. Following the album's release, the Jonas Brothers began filming Camp Rock 2, The Final Jam, a sequel to Camp Rock. On September 3, 2010, it premiered on Disney Channel. After that, the Jonas Brothers didn't release any new music, however, they did perform at a Paul McCartney tribute concert in late 2010. 
Two years later, during their August 2012 reunion concert, the Jonas Brothers eventually unveiled many new songs. The tracks were supposed to be on their fifth studio album, V. However, when the Jonas Brothers announced their split in October 2013, the album's release was canceled. They then began their own careers, with Nick recording a number of solo albums and appearing in a number of films. Joe is the frontman for the band DNCE, whereas Kevin prefers to keep a quiet profile. The Jonas Brothers reunited in 2019 with the release of Sucker, a song on March 1. On Billboard's mainstream top 40 list, the song debuted at No. 28.